So our mission really is pretty simple. Um, we're a contemplative monastery, so there's 55 monks here. Our life is oriented to the experience of God, which means uh, we give ourselves over to a fair amount of prayer together and individually, uh, meditation, uh, study to support that, and of course manual labor to support ourselves. And so the brewery, we always have manual labor of some kind or other, the brewery is our current enterprise uh, that we've initiated so that we can support ourselves um, and the mission of the monastery as well as a number of charities that the monastery supports um, as a matter of course. So why beer? Oh beer, okay. So um, we wanted to reinvent our economy, our little monastic economy for the century um, and we knew that we needed some kind of additional revenue source besides uh, our traditional one of uh, jams and jellies and a, a smaller company called Holy Rue Guild where we do uh, vestments, liturgical vestments uh, for church services. So we looked at a variety of things including uh, um, wind turbines to generate electricity, grow the current enterprises, revamp the farm, and, but we noticed one of the brothers was really interested in beer from, from when he was in college. And, uh, and eventually, we talked to the six brewing Trappist abbeys in Belgium about the possibility of an American Trappist brewery. Um, and that conversation, it went on for almost two years, but it went well. Um, and we could see that um, Brewing could be a real, um, could be quite, could work well for our monastic life as well as participating in the larger economy. You know how, you know how the craft beer movement has really, uh, is in the process of generating so much interest in beer that America is, is having a rebirth of a beer culture. Um, and for us as monks, this is a really, you know, like Rochefort Abbey in Belgium has been brewing since uh, 1560s or 1570. So it's compatible with monastic life. Um, it's not nearly as labor intensive as our farm was, or even as Trappist preserves. Um, and uh, actually working in the brew house has a very kind of quiet, whole contemplative side to it. So we see that um, it can be kind of uh, wedded to the monastic horarium or schedule of prayer um, and provides uh, uh, sufficient work that we think we could support the monastery and its charities uh, with about a f uh, within five years or so, we think the brewery would be at a stage where it could do that.